Leander ISD utilizes a numerical system to assign every neighborhood and subsection of neighborhood and every living livable area with a code. We utilize this for long-term planning for our enrollment growth and also for our tenants areas. So it's important that you look up your house or your apartment in our online PDF that has all of the different codes as we oftentimes refer to these during an attendance area change. The process we're going to follow through this attendance area change involves a lot of opportunities for community feedback. Um, and our process actually starts with us putting out and utilizing a new tool called Thought Exchange to get the different characteristics of a, of a successful boundary plan, get that input from our community, and also to figure out what neighborhoods we really want to target um, for possible changes in realignment. Um, starting February 7th through the end of the spring semester for our students, we'll be talking about attendance area changes for Danielson Middle School um, at every board meeting. The board meets twice a month, um, so please make sure you check out the website. Um, we have live stream videos of our board meetings, agendas, presentations, and we'll manage a attendance area web page with all of the information out there. Um, Throughout the discussions of the board, eventually the board comes up with a single scenario for public review and public input. Um, once we have that single scenario to be considered, uh, we will have public forums to be able to go out into the impacted areas to collect additional feedback to present to the board so they can make the best decision possible. There are lots of different factors in changing attendance areas. Um, there's utilization of buildings, there's um, keeping kids in proximity to their assigned school. Um, there's long-term projections in terms of new growth coming in and you don't want to open up a new school only to have it be overcrowded as we continue to build new, new homes in this area and add a thousand plus new students every year. Um, we really want our community to come together and to utilize the Thought Exchange tool to be able to provide input as to what y'all want us to do um, in addressing middle school attendance areas. Thank you for watching and learning more about attendance area changes in Leander ISD. It's an exciting time to be here as we plan to open one new school up every year um, for the next 10 years as we grow by a thousand new students. Make sure you utilize Thought Exchange as we continue to collect feedback at the start of this process and look out for more information on our Leander ISD website, our bi-weekly newsletters, and in our board meetings twice a month, now through the end of the spring semester. Um, please continue to follow the process and we look forward to working with you to make the best decision possible for our kids.